Hey guys, it's a beautiful evening. It's about 6.30 and um, it's really nice. Uh, I'm back at my bench. Some of you have been watching for a while. You may remember that this is the place I like to go. It's not far from our place. It's only you know, a two minute walk back through the path essentially. Got the brook back and behind there. And this is just kind of my little chill spot. And I was coming back here to eat a a dragon fruit. Picked this up at the grocery store earlier. It was on sale, so picked it up and I was gonna eat this and I had a chance to speak to I even brought a knife and a spoon with me. But I had a chance to uh, speak with one of our neighbors, a guy who lives in the building, and um, he was he was having a smoke, and he was a little bit embarrassed, I think, that I caught him having a cigarette, but, um, yeah, but he was on his way to the grocery store, and he was sneaking one, so, <laughs> but we got to talking, and we got to talking about, um, you know, the fact that I had quit, and I think that he wants to quit, so, maybe, if nothing else, the conversation was a little bit of an extra motivation for him, hopefully, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to cut into this uh, dragon fruit here, and then um, get something else I wanted to talk about, so just be a sec. Yeah, so this is like a perfect, perfect dragon fruit. Look at that. Unbelievable. So tasty. So I kind of have a feeling like um, my neighbor's going to come sneaking up across this bridge over here, sneaking up behind me, so it's kind of making me a little bit, uh, I don't know, I don't mind recording myself, but I just, I don't like when people are like sneaking up behind me while I'm recording myself. I don't know why, it just freaks me the hell out. So, um, I might actually move locations, or maybe I guess I could just kind of turn, but, I don't know, it's just weird. I, I just don't like it. But, <laughs> anyway, that's kind of a little random thing about me. I don't mind being on camera, I just and I don't mind people seeing me recording myself, just not from behind. It's freaky. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to suck it up and get over it. So, my video yesterday was um, kind of got a little bit of a mixed reaction. And that's understandable, and I just want to clarify that I wasn't directing it at anybody in particular. Even though it was titled, you know, for Freely and uh, Gary, um, those guys were just examples because they're they're good examples that fit what I was talking about. Um, the video was obviously not about either of them, you know, in its essence, nor was it about anybody else that you know I follow or follows me or that you know I've spoken to. Um, because they're controversial people, sometimes um, you know there there might be activity about them, so. People might get the idea that my video was about them. Um, so if you think that my video was about you, it wasn't. And, you know, I didn't mean to offend anybody if I did. But, um, you know, really I think it's just all about, you know, having a good time and taking from it what you can. And, you know, when we watch videos and we, and we think that, um, when we internalize them, yeah, this is the point I was really trying to make. When we internalize what somebody else is doing and we, you know, if we perceive it as a negative thing or we perceive, like, you know, a mean energy from it and then we internalize that and we talk about it, it only makes it grow and, and helps it fester into something even bigger. So I really just think the biggest thing you can do if you see something that you believe is negative or that is mean or something like that, if you don't want to make it any worse or you don't want to actually spread it and you don't want those people to be empowered, then just simply don't talk about it. You're not going to shut them down. It's just, it's not going to happen. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess every now and then you feel like you just need to make a point. I've done it. I understand. But we're not going to um, stop people from, from making their videos and making, you know, doing things the way they do them, so, I don't know, I guess that's kind of it. 
All right, guys, so I'm back. Uh, my camera kind of cut out, but I also kind of like hurried to stop because there was some like loud kids coming and things like that. Um, and then I got talking to my neighbor, but I did eat my dragon fruit. And actually, uh, my neighbor who was going over to the grocery store, he took my advice because he saw that I was eating one and he picked one up on the way home. So that uh, was pretty cool. We just stopped and chatted and I showed him, you know, just to cut it in half, scoop it out. So he was pretty pumped about that. He's going to try that with his wife. And, um, but yeah, this is what I wanted to talk about, uh, more so than what I'd already spoken about in this video, is um, I don't know, you know, where you guys are at and whether you have to deal with this or not, but especially around, you know, water, like we have a brook and a couple of ponds back behind our place here. And the black flies are crazy. They're everywhere. Not so much mosquitoes yet, but just these little black flies and like they don't really bother me too too much but I have such a hard time with this because from an ethical standpoint I don't want to like you know be swatting and killing these black flies but at the same time it's just a natural reaction when you're getting bitten or when things are swarming around your face to like swat and I know that you know I'm killing flies and I'm just wondering how you know how do you guys feel about this um, you know what do you do like do you have any tips or things like that because I definitely don't want to use like you know bug spray or like things like that that you know are going to kill them anyway if they bite me and I also don't want all those chemicals on my skin but then at the same time like I don't want to be getting bitten by mosquitoes and black flies but I also don't really want to kill them <laughs> so it's like I don't know it's just it's one of those kind of like fringe dilemmas that I mean, obviously the natural reaction, like they're swarming me right now, probably, I mean, mainly because I've got this open fruit in front of me, but, you know, they're swarming me right now, and it's hard to, like, not you want to swat them away, because I don't want to get bitten all the shit, but, anyways, let me know, what do you do for mosquitoes and black flies as a vegan, and your thoughts on it, but, um, yeah, so to recap, my last video wasn't about anybody in particular, I just used uh, examples that I thought were fitting, and, um, yeah, these black flies are killing me, guys. Help me out. Dragon fruit.